If you go to any major tourism site in Japan, you will probably see this ocarina or some variation of it. They're made of ceramic. They're typically a very reasonable, maybe too reasonable price of about 2,000 to 3,000 yen, which is about 15 to $25. And if you've seen any of my past videos about ocarinas not to buy, you will know ceramic ocarinas in the 15 to $25 price range are suspicious. So does that apply to 15 to $25 Japanese ocarinas too? Let's find out. Okay, honestly, I don't know what brand this ocarina is, but if you go to any tourism site anywhere like major in the country, whether that's like Fushimi Inari in Kyoto or Miyajima Island in Hiroshima or a lot of different places in like Okinawa or Tokyo, wherever, you will see this ocarina or some variation of it, usually in a different color and usually with some different design relevant to the local stuff. Like there's a whale shark and the word Okinawa on this one because the Okinawa Aquarium has a whale shark at it. Whoa. So I bought this one in Okinawa in January of 2020, but I have seen this exact type of ocarina just with a different paint job everywhere from Kagoshima to Tokyo. These ocarinas are practically inescapable. Aesthetically, I kind of like this ocarina with like the custom localized paint job, but the paint is kind of sticky. If you hold your ocarina for any amount of time, your palms may get sweaty and sweaty palms feel really, really sticky on this ocarina. I don't like it, but paint jobs and stickiness are neither here nor there. How does this ocarina fare as an instrument? I'm worried about this next one. <laughs> It looks like our hypothesis about ocarinas in the $15 to $25 price range is correct, and I'm sad about it. I was wishing this one would be different. I'm acting surprised like I haven't had this ocarina for three years and knew it was bad and ranked it badly on my tier list, but whatever. <laughs> It's for the video, okay? My initial comments are this has very low breath pressure. If you overblow at all, the tone just disappears. Like, let me just play the high E. This is in the key of E, I think. It goes away super easily. And if I, and anything above the high E. Also, this ocarina gets really clogged by spit really easily. If you play for like a minute, there will be too much spit in this thing to play notes above like the lowest notes. It doesn't make sense, but that's just what happens. You got to cover the tone hole and blow really hard to get that spit out to keep playing every like two minutes. As you can see, the tone above the high E, which is the top of the main scale, just completely collapses. Furthermore, these thumb holes aren't even tuned. They literally just do like half steps upward. It makes no sense. The tuning is so bad on this. It's actually kind of okay for the bottom four notes, hence why I played a song that only used the bottom four notes of the main scale. But the bad tuning is so noticeable for any song that has any type of jump in notes beyond like one or two steps. On top of the thumb holes being poorly tuned, the one sub hole is also very poorly tuned. Normally a sub hole first takes you down a half step and then a whole step. This does a step and a half downward. So if I were using a soprano E ocarina, a very unconventional range, <laughs> pressing down the first sub hole should take me down to D sharp. And then the next one should take me down to C sharp. So if this is an E approximately, knowing how badly it's tuned, this is only approximate. I press the sub hole. That is like a full step and a half downward to the C sharp 
not just down to the D sharp. You can kind of get the D sharp if you half cover the sub hole, but that just lacks any chromatic editability. So it kind of works, but that's not how it's supposed to work. <laughs> it's not intuitive to play at all. I'm getting caught up on the minutia of this ocarina, but all you need to know is that it's really bad. If you see this ocarina in Japan, unless you really like the local design, don't get it. Like, there's a lot more details I could get into. Like, this ocarina is not even chromatic because the holes are improperly tuned and sized. The ergonomics on this ocarina are really awkward and not very natural. Like, you can hold it, but my fingers are kind of cramped and I kind of have to angle my fingers and it's just not fun to hold. I could talk about how the tone quality is very airy and kind of just bad, but we'll save that trouble and discussion and I'll sacrifice the watch time that I could get by talking more about it. This ocarina is just bad. Don't get it if you go to Japan. Coincidentally, the closest ocarina I have in range to it is my Tiamo Soprano F, which is only a half step above this one in terms of tuning, if this one is even tuned at all. Yep, this is a soprano F, this is a soprano E. They're a half step apart in tuning. So let me just play the same songs. This is a good ocarina. <laughs> I don't want to touch this one again. I want to break this one, but I don't want to break it because it has nice little Okinawa memory on it. That's how they get you. The artwork. So for more details on my recommendations surrounding this crappy ocarina, I have some live field video recorded by my friend Big Rig Creates. I found an ocarina. I've seen these ocarinas in um, other parts of Japan. They are very like, tourist centric it's the same instrument painted different ways they're completely out of tune they're not good if you see these ocarinas it's like wow cool i can get an ocarina as a tourist thing it's not worth it <laughs> don't don't get these ocarinas we're at the observatory near sakurajima the you you know hira or something and uh crap ocarinas don't buy them so what's my final recommendation with this ocarina i think you already know don't just don't the custom regional art on these ocarinas is fun, and that's the only reason I would say you even consider getting it. But as instruments, these ocarinas are bad across the board. I've owned like three of these. I've tested three of these. I got rid of two of these because they're so bad. I gifted two of them to Okabanda friends. Um, hope they don't hate me for giving them these ocarinas. <laughs> but in short, unless you want the region-specific art on these ocarinas, don't get them. They're bad instruments. But even if you want the regional art, I have more thoughts on this whole industry of poorly tuned, cheap ocarinas that flood the market and tarnish the reputation of the entire instrument. Clearly, there's some craftsmanship and artistry in this ocarina. It's not like an ugly looking instrument. Clearly, there are makers who care at some point in the process of these ocarinas, but because the market demands cheap ocarinas and the market continues to buy cheap ocarinas, these makers who could care and could make good instruments with the same level of artistry, but better tuning, they're overworked and underpaid, probably, making these crappy instruments, whether it's these ones in Japan or the Ocarinas of Crap on Amazon. So unless we, the Ocarina community as a market, say no, we don't want your cheap, poorly tuned Ocarinas, we'll pay more and buy better tuned Ocarinas, spend more time on the work, make better instruments, make things that you're proud of, unless we say that as a market, the market's not gonna change. We're still gonna see crappy ocarinas on Amazon. We'll still see the 
these crappy ocarinas at tourist destinations in Japan. So put your money where your mouth is and buy from good, reputable makers. In the case of a trip to Japan, instead of buying these crappy tourist trap ocarinas, buy something good from a brand like Tiamo or Knight. There are surely other reputable Japanese brands too, but these are the ones that I know off the top of my head and I have seen at many music stores. That said, most Japanese people also buy their instruments online, so if you go to a music store, your selection will still be fairly limited. But like I said, look for Knight, look for Tiamo, or any other reputable brand with good instruments. I highly, highly recommend Tiamo. Watch my video on that. And last, thank you to my $5 tier patron Joshua, and you can support me for as little as $1 on patreon.com slash Andy Cormier. Otherwise, leave a like, subscribe for more, comment unexpected places where you found ocarinas, particularly while traveling, and I will see you next time. Happy tootin', but no happy tootin' for this guy. Sad tootin' exclusively for this crappy little ocarina. Bye.